Hello, the game has started, and my opponent has opened with Frith. Just, uh, I have a pretty good rack here, and I'm wondering if there is a bingo here. Bellafons. That'll work. For 70. Uh, actually, I should have looked at the R for a four-timer. There might have been a four-timer there. Anyway, onwards and upwards. I draw three A's and a W, so not ideal. And I don't have a five-letter play from 9C down, which is a shame. That would score handily. Um, what about our here creates an X hotspot? But it scores quite well, mid-20s. Uh, what would the other options be? Um, if I play a W or an M here, I could play Wame, so something like... That's 27, not a good rack leave. But uh, perhaps my play of hour will remain available. That's not bad. Um, opponent taking some time with this move. Twenty seven, that's tempting. Meow. Don't like the idea of keeping three A's, but that's a good score. I like that. Hopefully... Yeah, I think I probably will go with this. That's 29. What about Meow here? 26, slightly less. Not sure about that. Okay. What about Mar? 28 there. Hotspot. opponent really is taking some time with this uh, move. He's down to under 10 minutes now. And he's a pretty high, highly ranked player. Um, Let's see, I'll just give him a nudge to see if he is still playing or if he's abandoned the game. Yes, he's still in the room, so to speak. And he's likely to play his move. Okay, so he plays gay there. Now, meow. Yeah. I wonder what the play here is. Our still appeals to me as a, a rack balancing play. 23 hotspot there, or do I go with, twenty-eight 
26 three A's can't be best. What about this S? So Wave 23. I think I will play this. Not a bad pickup. The Z benefits from an abundance of vowels. My M plays at C10. So, what about... Moana, is that good? Forty. Kited. Good score. Uh, Thirty-five. Now I do have the zone component of a word. Amazon. Not good. Good. Um, what to do with the Z? Abet is good. Nothing goes after A Y E that I have. Z plays here, but can't get it to play twice. Hmm, what about Moz 34? Such a shame I can't get down to that double word square. Hmm. I might do Moz actually. Thirty-four. Terrible pickup. I draw only vowels, and that was pretty poor. So it looks like I might be changing. E A U takes an X. So AUE would be more defensive. 13 has to be slightly better than changing. Mose is good, takes an E. So what about oh, 23, but hotspot created there, I don't like that. Front hooks for man. Oh, okay. Gien is good. Just going across from the P. Hmm. 
UI23. Um, not great. Addenda. What about an unword? Un unadored? No. about add place okay most forty Unaided. That does currently play. Oh, it plays under UI as well as under Frith. So, unless opponent plays down from the H or the T, I should be bingoing. Unaided creates a Z hotspot. That's unideal. But the Z has been played. So it's the J we need to worry about, not the Z. Uh, hotspot created under the C for five or six letter plays beginning with a H. Or even a bingo beginning SH or TH. That could be a monster play right there. So, is there an anagram of unaided? Not that I can see. It would be great if there was a bingo beginning with a D placed at L1 down. Okay, opponents play Jig. Jig doesn't take anything I've got. The J doesn't help, the G doesn't help. I think Unaided looks okay for 66. Okay, not a bad pickup, but the CW combo not fantastic. What about Crawleys? Creepy Crawleys. I wonder if that's a thing. Scrawlies or scrawly, maybe scrawly, but scrawly doesn't fit. Okay. Let's see if crawlies is a thing. Nope, didn't think so. Now enslaver would take an S. So what about a six letter play ending in S? Crawls. Or I could play scrawl from jigs, but I think strategically makes more sense 
play crawls here since the J has been played and actually this does represent a 50 point play if opponent gets an F or a H placed at J14 and manages to end beyond the R getting the double word that's a 48 point play what about scrawl That's a 45 point play. Give up three points. Yeah, I think I do because the other play just gave a nice hot spot for opponent. I'm going with with this. Fix it. That's the play that jumps out at me. Fix it plays up below the E. Fix it for 35. No way of been going through that T because of unaided. Verb takes an S, an S and a blank to come. Uh, Nix could scupper opponents plan to bingo in column O, which I think makes sense to extinguish that hope for him. Unless there's a monster X play elsewhere. I'm not seeing it. I'm going with this. Not great. The F, B, and U, not uh, a great set of tiles for Bing going with. Uh, the Q still a danger. Just having a look around the board to see if there are any particularly hot Q spots. Yeah, Cat through the A, that's a decent score, 32. Place takes an R. Uh, what to do with my F and B? Um, I think it's time to start extinguishing bingo lanes for opponent. So... So maybe taking out the um, taking out this A would extinguish L, A, and V as floaters. Foobar. That looks okay. I like that. Twenty. Not a great score, but it's a bingo lane killer. Now. This looks a little bit closer to bingo territory. Portion. I've got a portion of bingo -y tiles, but no place. Oh man, no good. Not as a scrabble word anyway. Ivy and scrawly, nice play by opponent. Um, down to just 2 minutes 20. I've got Roop and Placer. Portion just doesn't play anywhere. Six letters here, so not enough. If I play there, I create bingo lanes for opponents. I don't like that. What about just prod? I don't think the P would be of much use to opponent, would it? Um, yeah, 
I think I'll play prod 14. And although it didn't score much, I can't see the P being a great letter for opponent there to use. And it did take out a hot spot from L1 down. Not overly hot, but it was a scoring spot. I'm still concerned about front hooks for man. I might be overlooking one of those. So what about oven? 26 point play, nothing wrong with that at this stage of the game. I will go with oven. And opponents are three in the bag. He's got some nice tiles there. I think I'll kill the bingo lane by playing OU if opponent doesn't take the spot. Ah, oh, he did bingo. Interesting. He's close behind now. So maybe that was a mistake for me to leave that available for him. He's got hen left. Wow, he'll play it up there if I don't block it. EU 10 there. I don't think that's going to be enough, but I have to block the spot. Wow, I have to block that spot. I think he still wins. I should have blocked this P. That was silly to play oven. Yeah, I think opponent might have me here. Hen, I think even hen above foobar might be enough for him. Yeah, that's given him the win. That's frustrating. I should have... I'll just... Should have... Blocked the... P. Um... So that was the end of the game. Let's have a look at what we missed. That was really um, silly play at the end there because it was literally the only way opponent could have won. He needed the bingo and I didn't block the P. Um, so back to the beginning. Frith looks fine. Saffronal was the four-timer. Balafons for 70 looks fine as a second. Gypsied for 28. Gay 25. And then Way for 23. Moa for 31. That was C3, but I don't like leaving. Mm, maybe. Manawa. Manawa. Where was that? 10B. Man, oh, uh, getting the W and the M tripled. Um, yeah, not bad, I guess. Way for 23 seems a little bit further behind. And then opponent's got kited for 35. Looks okay. Azan for 33 was best. But leaving an A in the trip lane for 30 points? Nah, not keen on that. Zanana for 37, 10B. Zanana, that's a little bit better. Uh, it's not as volatile, scores more. Yeah, quite like Zanana. Moz, uh, 34, wasn't bad. Calipi for 70, 
Bingo did play at H7 across. And then opponent goes with Pi. I've got UI for 23. Yeah, similar equities. And then opponent's got place for 27. Add for 40 was best. Jig for 11. Eve Jar also good. Where was Eve Jar? Ah, at K1 down. Yeah, that's nice. Jig unaided for 66. Enslaver for 74. Oop. Scroll for 40. I did identify the 48 point play, but I didn't like the hotness that it um, left there. Crawls. But I did lose by two in the end, so who knows how the game might have changed after playing those two. Opponent didn't have a bingo, but very close. Got verb down. Now fixed for 33. 2k, that's quite nice. Although it does leave an X directly below a double word with two I's and two U's to come. So I can't see that being fantastic. I went with Nix because of the bingo that this lane represented. Opponent got 32 for Cat and a beautiful rack leave. Then Fubar for 20 to take out three floaters. Um, and then Tylosin doesn't play. And no other bingos available. He goes with Ivy. Now Roop for 25 I looked at as an option. And I opted to go for... Prod, I think, in the end. Yeah, prod. Um, ah, because I didn't want to leave an O. An O felt like it was a more useful uh, floater, although Roop wouldn't have left an O as a bingo floater because there's only six squares either side of the O there you, that can be utilized. So, Roop... Actually, let me go back to that. Roop 25, prod 14. Wow, that was also hugely suboptimal. And I did identify Roop. I don't know why I thought that the O would be available as a floater, because it obviously isn't. So that was another... Terrible play. Opponent's got a beautiful rack. He actually has Rousand here at 3i. Ah, Sprod. Rousant and Sprod. Nice. So that would have been... Yeah, I wonder if I play... Roop. Uh, he probably does still have something through the P. Maybe he doesn't actually because it would show up in this list. So Roop does not yield a bingo with these tiles, a playable bingo. Otherwise it would be... Ah, oh, wait a minute. Atropins. Yep. 4H. So opponent does bingo. However, Atropins, let's say he does find Atropins, I still would have had an extra few points that I would have been able to, oh, I don't know, it's hard to know. Oven for 26 was the mistake here. So I should have looked at the board and realized 50 point difference. If I take out the P opponent cannot bingo. Um, even a play down from E onto, uh, you know, something down there. Even just OU, I think. Or... Yeah, even...
even knew N double O just kills all hopes of bingoing. That's a game winning move from this stage, new. All right, so tramping comes down. Placement as an extension of place. Uh, not enough to win, though. 51 at that stage. No, tramping was enough to win. But let's see. Out go. Problem with out go is that opponent goes out with a monster 30 point score there. 31 to be precise. So out go 18, 4, 12, and no opponent wins even without the count back. So I had to block that spot. And Olio, Uoi, ah, Olio, where's Olio? No, that's not going to win either. I have to take out that spot. And Uoi at Huey are the only ways to do that. But at that stage I lose. There's nothing that scores higher. Wow, so there were a few options to win that game, and it was mine to win. But uh, I, the most obvious mistake was oven. Uh, my goose was cooked at that stage in the oven. So I should have just, yeah, should have just taken out this zone here with double O N. And then opponent has absolutely no way of being going. So even a parallel play under the sea wouldn't have worked because I would have played from K3 down. Anyway, there you go. Um, that's why it's good to analyze the games and realize how close some games can be and how one mistake can uh, cost you the game. Glaringly obvious in retrospect, thinking that you can just outrun your opponent when guaranteeing the win by extinguishing bingo lanes is the more uh, strategically superior um, option. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that game and I'll see you next